Hi kids, my name is Joan, Joan Gillum. And I went to college in Fort Lewis, which is in Durango, Colorado, and I was an elementary school teacher, classroom teacher. Over 25 years ago, my passion came into being in ter turned into my dream, which is physical education and physical activity, and I was hired by Spark, and now I am a Spark trainer. Spark is the world's most research-based physical education and physical activity programs. So I'm happy to bring you a lot of background and a lot of fun activities that we're going to do. I'm sharing with you today from my home, and I live in Nicaragua right now. So uh, it's a lot different from where you all are, I'm sure. Well, maybe not. But maybe after this session, you can get somebody in your home or your household to help you find out where Nicaragua is. The closest town to me is Tola, Tola, Nicaragua. So um, I'm so happy to be here with you. I have a little message for you. I want to first thank you for participating in the Spark, Spartan Kids Be Unbreakable Challenge. We are asking you to accept the challenge to be a lifelong learner and an advocate for your own health and wellness beyond school. Parents, it's really important that your parents are there with you or some adult is there with you. Uh, I want them to listen to this. It's important to advocate for quality physical education. This session will address the Shape American National Physical Education Standards and grade level outcomes. Spartan Kids Code, and a Spark Healthy Message. All the activities that I'm going to do today are designed to be done indoors, it can be done outdoors, on a patio, uh, but only with family members or uh, who are healthy or people that you feel safe with in this uh, environment right now. We encourage responsibility. Participate in the activities that are suitable for you and your family, considering all the guidelines and recommendations of the CDC. So today's session will cover these national PE standards and grade level outcomes, the Spartan Kids Code, a Spartan thinks positively and is resilient through adversity. Think about that. And our Spark healthy message, keep H2O the way to go. Keep H2O the way to go. Mm. Boys and girls, always have water. It's really important during this time and ever, all the time. Drink your water. Oh, it tastes so good. Mm. Here in Nicaragua, it's very, 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 very hot where I am. And I drink, oh, maybe four of these a day, if not more. It keeps me going. H2O, the way to go. All right, so what we're going to do today is a little jump rope. Now, if you don't have a jump rope, that's okay. You can just do everything I do without a jump rope. That's the best way. It's an invisible jump rope. You never miss. And what's happening is you're getting the skills that I'm going to show you in your mind. It's called muscle memory. But if you'd like to try to jump rope, maybe you can find something around your house. I have some clothesline that I could take apart and cut and make a jump rope out of. Also, I have some rope that I found in the garage and I could take this and I would have somebody cut me a piece of rope at the length that I need for jump rope. Hmm, what else could I use? Oh, so I have a house coat and it has a tie around the center, maybe your mom or your dad or your sister or somebody. I could use this for a jump rope if it was the right length. I also have a dog, Chloe, and she has a leash. Maybe I could use a leash for my jump rope. But I'm lucky because I love to jump rope, so I have my own jump rope. I take it wherever I go because I can jump in a very small area and I can 
work my heart, my body, agility, fast, um, jump rope is great. So, first thing that you need to know is how to have the rope length just perfect. So you hold the handles if you have a rope and you just step on that and the handles should come right up to your armpits. And if it's too, too short, that's going to make it really hard for you to jump rope. So try to get it right here if you're cutting a rope. If it's way too long, you can always tie knots in it and get, get that right there, okay? So we're going to start off, and it's always fun to have some sort of music. I have some music, but when, when you're at home, you can find the music that you like and just turn that music on. Now remember, you have to think positively, just like the Spartan does, and be resilient. Some of these uh, activities are going to be really hard, and you're going to have to work on it, get through that adversity, and pretty soon you're going to get that skill. The first one is going to be pretty simple. You're going to hold the rope, it's called a side swing, in two hands, and you're just going to side swing the rope on either side, both sides, nice and slow. That's super simple. When you get really, really tired and you just want to rest, you can always side swing. And I kind of like to jump while I'm side swinging because that gets me into the rhythm, but you don't have to side swing. Side, side, and then you can even add a jump. That's why you have to keep your hands apart, not real close together, because your rope could get all tangled up. And so this is a side swing jump. Super simple. Now, some of you are going to have a hard time just jumping rope because you haven't done it. That's all right. You're not going to get really tense. Don't get tense and throw it over. I want you to relax. That's another cue. Relax your arms. And then what you're going to do is bring your big arms around so you can see that rope and you're going to catch it under your toes, just like an alligator. And then you're going to come up on your toes and bring the rope back out behind you. Big arms, catch it under your toes, those alligator toes. Bring it out. So you have the big arms right now, which is okay until you get the, the feel of a jump rope with just using your wrist to turn. So after you've done this a few times and you've got that, the reason we do that is because when it comes under your toes, that's when you're going to jump. So now you know when to jump. When it's coming around and it's coming to your toes, jump! And then you catch it. So uh, later on today or tomorrow, I want you to practice this. Once you get it, then you're just going to start jumping. Let me tell you something else. Some kids, when they first start jumping, will do a double bounce. That means the rope goes over one time, but you're bouncing twice. Bounce, 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 bounce. That's called a double bounce. Watch what it looks like with the rope, and you can do it with me. Bounce, bounce, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you see I'm not using my big arms? coming down a little bit lower. Then, after you've got the double bounce, what I really want you to work for is a single bounce. That means the rope goes over your head one time, under your feet, one, one, one. So the rope is going to go a little bit faster, and it's going to jump, 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 jump. This is where I'm going to start using my wrist instead of this. This is okay, but eventually you're just going to called a single bounce. So we have a side swing, we have a double bounce, and we have a single bounce. Good job. So now it's time to put this in to practice and learn some skills. Let's do the skier first. Now this is where I don't use my rope. I hold on to it and I have to get the skill first before I try it with my rope. So if you don't have a rope, this is this is a good time, muscle memory. You're gonna just keep your feet together. Oh, another cue. When you're jumping, and I forgot to tell you, I need you to land on the balls of your feet, not flat footed, on the ball. And then use your knees as springs. Really important. When we're doing the double bounce, see my knees are springing, single bounce. I don't land really hard, okay? 
So the skier, the same way, we're going to land on the balls of our feet, right below our toes, and we're going to use our knees as springs. So side to side to side to side. Okay, join me. Do the skier, and you can even pretend like you're turning a rope. So we're getting that feel of going side to side to side to side. Okay, so what's that called? The skier. Good job. The next skill we're going to learn is called the bell. And you know how the bell swings back and forth? That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go forward and back, forward and back. Watch my knees. I'm landing lightly. And I'm going forward and back. I'm not jumping really big. That's going to use, oh, so much energy. Really low. Muscle memory. Here we go. Let's try skier. Side to side to side to side to side. Excellent job. We haven't even used our ropes. I already feel my heart. Woo! It's saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Or water, water, water. Water, water, water. Mmm. My body's thanking me right now. All right. The next skill we're going to learn is the side straddle. Whoa. So, on the side straddle, we're going to straddle. That's with our feet apart. And then we're going to jump together. Still using our knees as springs. Now, I don't want to jump really wide because the jump rope's not going to go under my feet here. Okay? So, when you're straddling, just straddle just a slightly apart. And again, you use your knees as a spring. Come on, join me. Good job. Keep it up. We got to get that in our mind. What does the side straddle feel like? Today, we're only going to go through a few of these. And you can come back to this video and practice them. Or you can look online and see other skills. And let's freeze. Okay, so what have we done? Double bounce, single bounce, skier, bell, and side straddle. Okay, so that was with the forward. We can do everything backwards. So if you ever want to try that, you can try a backwards jump where everything is going backwards. And I can double bounce backwards, or I can single bounce. Uh-oh, I missed. Is that okay? Absolutely. You just keep trying. Got to think positive. Be resilient. Okay, so I'm going to turn some music on right now, and we're going to go through those skills. You can go with me. Try it. If you have a rope, try it with your rope. If you don't, try it pretending like you have a rope in your hands, and we'll get through them all. All right, let me turn some music on. Here we go. All right, we're going to side swing, side swing. Turn that music up. Here we go. Side swing. Okay. I'm going to double bounce. Double bounce. Single bounce. Woo! Here. Come up the bell. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Oh, this is harder for me. Whoa! Side straddle. 
message, keep H2O the way to go, and you can come back to this video and do the single bounce, the double bounce, the side swing, the skier, the bell, the side straddle, and lastly the crossover. So I want you to practice those, keep everybody happy, healthy, and Spartans, be unbreakable. 